Hello folks and welcome back to another lesson. This is a Patreon vote. Again, we're doing two Patreon votes this week. All these lovely people vote for this one. It's an absolute banger of a tune, so let's crack on with the tones and the tuning. Good news for tuning, we're in standard tuning, lovely. You're gonna want a um, neck pickup and a bridge pickup tone. Um, so Strat or Telly will be absolutely fine. So the intro and stuff is all played on neck pickup and then you're gonna slam it back into bridge position for like the heavier stuff and for the solo. Now, you are gonna need some effects and I dragged out all my effects for this one. It took me ages to try and nail down the, the, the tones as close as I could get them. It's not bang on because it's like 40 guitar overdubs or something, you know, allegedly on this track. But for the essentials, I say you would need a, a phaser. I would go for like a four stage phaser, a fuzz pedal, preferably a Big Muff Pie variant and some kind of cool reverb delay stuff. So I'm going to show you what I've gone for. OK, so intro, my clean tone, but then we're going to add the Lillian phaser from Walrus Audio. <laughs> stuff okay now I'm also adding to this a little bit of reverse delay you could use like reverse reverb something like that but I found uh, the Alexander pedals rewind with this patch <laughs> you know quite subtle but I found it was good for Good for that part, okay? So next up we have the Boss DD200. I'm using that for two delay tones. So we've got this. Which I think is the Terra Echo patch. So you've got this. So I'm using that for the quiet parts of the verse. Now next up I'm using two fuzz pedals. I'm using the Jupiter FX Wallow, which is based on the uh, Big Muff Pi, but it's super gnarly. That sounds like this. <laughs> And for the solo part, I'm using a slightly different fuzz pedal. I'm using the Private Beaver by Sound Out Liverpool. Again, it's another um, muff pedal. Now you could boost the um, your your big muff pedal, but this one has two gain controls, so I found I could get close with just the one pedal. So I prefer to do that. So that sounds like this. <laughs> also need the phaser and I've got another patch from the DD200 which is like a, a super quick reverb but it gives it a kind of tape warbliness to it so without it we have and with it we have really went to town with this one because I love it so hopefully you'll find some of that useful the first riff then goes like this I'll do it without the reverse uh, delay so you can hear it clearly that's it right then there's another fill but before we do that let's just nail this main part okay you're going to be playing three chords that's like a b but you don't play the uh, the root on the e string okay you start on the ninth fret on the a and the b and the e are open here right then you go to uh, an e power chord but again with b and e open then you go up to this g chord which is 10 12 0 as open 12 okay meanwhile James is playing he's just playing the G down here okay well it's all Billy on the album isn't it but live that's what James does so we have this rhythm pattern we'll stop there just for the first chord 
want to hit the open um, B string there. Okay, just to give it a bit of extra, and then nine eight. Then you need to change and do that up and down arpeggiation. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Then you go up to the G. So that's pretty percussive, isn't it? You've got. Okay, so. And again, whenever you go to the high 12th fret there, you want to try and hit the open G again. So you've got to really get your fingers, you know, arched around here, you know, thumb right at the, at the back of the, uh, the neck. So you can um, get all that ringing out. So slowly. That's it, okay? Then the third time you're gonna play this little fill at the end. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? You just do this. And then you move your first finger down one fret and you slide up to the uh, tenth fret from the ninth. Like that. Bit country, isn't it? Um, and then you keep going back around that, okay? The second guitar part, which is uh, James's part live, goes like this. cool isn't it so the two parts go beautifully together like you heard in the intro so we've got same first bar then we go to a normal G chord and that plays some really bog standard arpeggiation right and then you go that's the same as before this time though you're gonna do an E sus 2 right so you're gonna flatten your first finger there on the seventh fret and then apply these two so you've got you've got that going on nice isn't it and then you go back to the G but this time you play the same rhythm that the um, first guitar is playing same as that okay follows that pattern you know, fairly closely. Like that, okay? Then we've got this. You got that. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Eighth fret on the uh, G. Then we do a hammer on nine till 11 on the next string down. Then you're just doing a little run up. Then we do a seventh fret and each of these notes on the G string, you're gonna alternate by hitting the open B string. Seven, six, four, two. Round again. And then you go 12, 11, 14, 9. Third time's the same, and the fourth time you play. Just go to the 12th fret there, okay? Then for the verse, we've got one of my new favourite effects. turn that off so you can hear what I'm doing so essentially it's the same chords other guitar plays you play that round three times okay and the fourth time you play you play 
say that, okay? Now the bridge, again, it's just another slight variation. You're gonna do the same chords, but you do a little bit more strumming. And that goes like this. Just like that, okay? Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So it's the same rhythm twice, right? And there. You might want to take all your fingers off there just to reshuffle them around. Okay, but you've got the open uh, B and E strings to sort of hide what you're doing. And then. Got that going on and then at the end it goes you got that so 9 11 11 with the two open B and E and then you go around again then we've got the kind of first solo -y bit it's only a little noodly part but it's really cool. It's quite quiet in the mix, and there's some reverse guitar going on, all sorts. But I'm just using the uh, the fuzz pedal for this, the uh, the Wallo. We have. <laughs> for that so that's pretty much it we have uh, the ninth fret on the D for the three beats and this so seven nine seven slide down right and that's hammer on and a uh, uh, pull off right just watch the rhythm there because when you go to the fifth fret it actually plays one two three one two three one Okay. So in context, three, four. So you do a, a quick hammer on and then you take your finger off, which gives you another pull off and then slide to the seventh fret on the next string down. And then you slide up to the 12th fret on the next string up. Okay, and then you got that um, hammer on. And then this is the, the last bit where we go. So it's 11, 14, 9. And then you're gonna slide um, back up to the 11th and down to the fourth, okay? Uh, then you've got this with just some phaser. Such a great phaser tone, isn't it? Then you turn the phaser off, and I've got the wallow back on, and we've got this pre chorus part. And you play that around um, four times, okay? Let me just take that off for a second just so you can hear it clearly. So we've got. Okay, so we've got A, C, and you go, um, that's a kind of G chord, right? But you're, you're just abandoning the C chord early. And then you go down, down, up, down, down, change. And then when you get to the F, You're going to do up, 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 down, up. And with the fuzz. Literally what this fuzz was made for. And then we've got um, the chorus, which goes basically up to the B. Like 
like that, okay? So you've got down, 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 up, change, down, down, up. And then you just gallop, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then you do the second fret. Again with the dirt off. Okay, and then the fourth time you just stay on the G. So it's... that rhythm down down up down down up up down 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 so next up solo and again I've got three pedals on the go here the private beaver DD 200 for that very very quick reverse delay and the walrus audio Lillian face <laughs> of it right I'm gonna leave the effects on for this one because it just sounds cool so we're gonna go eight nine ten <laughs> that's like a half step um, bend there okay <laughs> okay then you're gonna do a, um, a pre bend on the 14th fret and play So a really quick drop and then you re-bend it up again, right? And as you bring it down again the next time, you're going to do a, a little pull-off uh, from the 14th to the 13th fret. And you do 14, 13, 12. Okay. And the next phrase I'll play clean so you can hear it. We've got three... Four. Then you've got another one of those full step bends and then drop down and then up half a step. Really cool. All that good stuff, right? So um, from the 12th fret, I'll play it slowly. Okay, that again. That bit's probably the trickiest bit. That's quite difficult. Then you play. So you play the 14th fret, bend it up, drop it down, pull off. And then 12 again, 12, 14, slide up to 16, right? It's just quite quick then. And with the fuzz on, doesn't really matter if you, you know, fluff a load of it up. Right, well, so enough on that. Then we go. That part, right? some quick stuff going on so again it's full step bend and release and then a half step bend right with all of that same sort of movement so from that half step bend when it's held you do another little a little um, half step release and then a full step bend and then again a pre-bent full step bend. Check it out. I mean, anyone who doesn't think Billy Corgan's a technical guitar player, just check the solo out. It's brilliant. A 
Okay, and then you're starting the next bar on this 15th fret. So that's just a little hammer on, pull off thing going on. Then we've got this little rundown. So the whole thing would be. That's the important bit to get. I think in between you can just do. Whatever you like, really. Then you got the fourteenth. Then you're going to go into this um, really cool hammer on and pull up like a trill, really. So you do the fourteenth fret, and you're going to bend that up a half step. And then you've got. You know, I would just noodle there to be honest. So what I would do is play, do like a sort of bar, a beat and a half of that. And then something along those lines, right? So that's what I've tabbed. So again, a beat and a half of, then you go. One, two, three, four, right? Then. <laughs> That's what I'm playing anyway, right? So slowly. So again, you know, doesn't really matter. Just do some fast stuff there. Anything like that will get you there, right? Then you go to the 17th fret on the B, okay? And you're going to do these series of bends. <laughs> That's awesome. So you've got 17th fret, 17th fret, 19th fret, 19th fret, 21st fret, bent up half a step and then a full step, right? The other two are just full step bends. And you're gonna do a little bit of vibrato when you when you um, reach the, the pinnacle of the bend, so. <laughs> then you go up a string to the 21st fret and you bend that up a full step. And you're going to do that, right? So that is a full step bend. And then up one fret. And again, right? God, it's so much less meaty without that fuzz, isn't it? Then you go uh, one more on the 22nd fret. And then we've got this. Something along those lines. So we've got, that's kind of the end of um, that main part of the solo. So again, just noodly stuff, but I would, I've tabbed this. Just because it's a nice, easy repeating pattern that sounds cool with fuzz. And then we've got this last part of the solo, which goes. So let's do that first. So bend, release, and then hammer on, pull off. Pretty straightforward. And then we've got... Bend up for a 16th note and down for an 8th note. And then you repeat, right? But it starts on the... Uh, after a, a 16th note rest. So it's 3, 4, 1. Like that, right? And you just do that five times. Then you've got this part. So cool, isn't it? So we have um, 15th fret. So it's this rhythm, right? Cool, isn't it? And then 16th note rest at the beginning of the next bar with three, four, one.
pretty cool, isn't it? And then we're back into um, Billy's part with the uh, distortion going. <laughs> Like that right so you've got down 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 up change down down up then a rest and then up down down up down change up up down down up okay again <laughs> goes to this next section which is the chorus basically which is the part you know already right but I want to show you what the lead parts doing over the top of that it's the first part this is over the You've got this. You've got that, right? And then we've got... Alright, so those are the two parts. So again, let me do it clean. We have... Let me go to the neck pickup. We have... So that is... Down, 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 slide, down. And you play the 12th fret there. Then you go up, down, down, up, down. That's what you're playing, right? But with octaves. Then you go. run down and then same as the second bar but you've got a subtle variation where you go up to the seventh fret and back down okay then when Billy goes to James's part plays this stuff right so we've got the sixth fret 9997 12 12 12 and 10 9 7 5 third time round Billy's playing James is playing. Could put the 15th fret in there. I wouldn't bother. Just do that. Uh, and then we've got the outro. So back on our clean tone with the phaser. And then we have... That round four times with uh, James's part playing. Okay, and then it ends with. And that, folks, is all you need to enjoy this tune. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.